Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Severus Snape, Harry Potter, and one of their first encounters in Snape's first year potions class. More specifically, we're going to be discussing a theory involving a secret message that Snape may have relayed to Harry when they first met. The moment occurred right at the beginning of the series, in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, when Harry first sits down in Snape's potions class. Already suspicious of Snape, Snape makes it very clear right away that he does not like Harry, mocking him as Hogwarts' new celebrity right before quizzing him on the spot about different magical herbs. In spite of his fame, Harry had known nothing of the wizarding world until very recently, and this meant that he had no chance of being able to answer Snape's questions. This is something that Snape undoubtedly knew, hoping to make Harry look foolish. There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. As such, I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science and exact art that is potion making. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. I can tell you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put a stopper in death. Then again, maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention, Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? You don't know? Well, let's try again. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? And what is the difference between Monkswood and Wolfsbane? Pity. Clearly fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? At first glance, all this dialogue shows us is that Snape wants to bully Harry a bit. He's purposely asking Harry questions to which he does not know the answer. However, the theory that I want to discuss suggests that Snape's questions are actually relaying a secret message to Harry. However, it's not a message that he ever expected Harry to understand. Snape is a complex individual, and the message in question was simply for himself. Let's dissect Snape's secret message. His first question to Harry is, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? And what's curious about this is that according to the Victorian flower language, asphodel is actually a type of lily. This lily means, my regrets follow you to the grave. And the second part of Snape's question, wormwood, means absence, which is symbolized by sorrow. Combined, this could be interpreted as, I bitterly regret Lily's death. And this is of course significant because Lily is Harry's mother, the only woman that Snape ever loved. Deep, right? To add to this even further, Snape's question even contains an allusion to his own death, as Asphodel was once believed to be a cure for snake bites, which of course Snape eventually dies from. Did you guys know about this theory already? It's been around on the internet for a while, but I wanted to relay it to you all and see what you thought. Do you think that this hidden message was legitimately and purposely integrated by Rowling, or is this just the result of a little too much overanalyzing by fans? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry.